what's up? Kyle here again. I'm here with my buddy Doug. Hey, Doug what's Adito. Up? What's up, buddy? Not much, you? Not much. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Uh, and um, what do we here? Uh, we're here to do another more. We're here to do our first review for 2000, 2024, and um, we just got to see a, another, another our um, our first. Well, our first movie of two thousand twenty-four. Yeah. We got to see our movie, uh, a, a horror movie. And uh, what movie did we get out of seeing? And more, what movie are we reviewing t tonight? So this is a movie called Night Swim. Night Swim, and um, and how did you like it? So, I actually liked it quite a bit. It was pretty freaky. It was, uh, I liked the cinematography. I liked the, uh, the whole, at, like, at tone of the movie was pretty creepy, I would say. Uh, mm. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it, too. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, in my opinion. I thought it was good. It was very scary. Very scary movie. Um, very, gr like, creepy, eerie. Yeah. Um, it's PG-13, too, too. It had blood. In, I had a lot of blood in it for... For for a PG thirteen movie, this had a lot of blood, blood and guts and, uh, and that. well, not guts, but like it had a lot of scary, monsterish, like creepy, eerie, disturbing images, yeah. imagery. But it's that. really good. It's called Night Swim. Yeah. I don't know who directed it, but it's Blumhouse production. Blum Blumhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Is it James Wan. I don't James know. Wan. I think I might have directed this. I don't know, but this has been out for since for a while now. But um. So let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. Would you th what, uh, what, what anything you like to add? Like, what's the synopsis? Like, you give the little synopsis. You don't have to give too much away. All right. It's basically about uh, a family, uh, a couple, and their two kids move into a new house, hmm. and they uh, I think they renovate the pool or whatever, and yeah, like uh, it turns out that the, obviously the pool is like haunted, and there's like it's basically like a a wishing well kind of like because like it can make your dreams come true but there needs to be like a sacrifice for oh, someone yeah. to I don't want to give too much I don't know if that's giving that away no, it's okay. it, it was about, basically this, this pool is haunted pretty much yeah and like uh it's uh it, remi it reminds me actually a lot of the Are You Afraid of the Dark episode the Dead Tell Man's what do you say no I was gonna say it reminds me of the Are You Afraid of the Dark episode Tell the Dead Man's Float which is about a haunted pool and the corpse is haunting the water. Mm. But um, this one, uh, this one's a little similar but also different. Um, yes, it's a, the synopsis is pretty much about like revolves around the pool and like it also reminded me a little Amityville horror-ish vibes I got from it. But um, and The Shining had a little bit of Shining vibes to it. Maybe slightly, uh, yeah. Because well, I don't want to give it away, but also yeah, and Amityville Horror, Dead Man's Float, Are You Afraid of Dark? Um, what else did it give you a vibe of? Like, kind of like, there's some other movie we were thinking of in the theater when we were watching this. We, we said, this kind of reminds me of that, too. Yeah, I, I remember. can't remember what the movie was. Yeah. But, um, it's very good. Um, very creepy. One of the, it's, it's unique, you know, the unique movie. It's not like something that's been done a million times before. It's like a movie that you haven't seen. And, like, they probably done something like this like, years ago. But it's like I never seen anything like this before. Have yeah. you? No, just sim the only thing I really seen that was kind of similar was the Art for the Dark. But other than that, it's pretty uh, original, and the the way it was done was good. I liked the 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 jump, the scare yeah. parts, and like were very good. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Nightmare. Well, some when the part with the in Nightmare on Elm Street with the bathtub where she falls asleep and like he yeah. pulls her underneath it remi some of the parts in this movie with the pool like remind me of that scene from yeah Nightmare that Elm reminds me of Nightmare on Elm yeah it reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street where, yeah with the where you see like the top of the tub like she gets pulled underneath it's like an abyss it mm -hmm. looked like they, there were scenes in this movie that were like that and also kind of the scene in, this is gonna sound weird but the scene in Nightmare on Elm Street 1 with Johnny Depp when he gets in, when he's in the bed, uh, he gets sucked into the bed and the pool of blood starts flowing up. Well, I was talking about but the part. You remember the part where she's in the bathtub? Yeah. In the first one, she gets pulled under. Yeah, that, that too. It kind of yeah. reminded me a little of that. Yeah, there's a lot of movies that do that too, and also kind of like um, there's a, what's that other movie that does that too when they when she's in the pool when she's in the bathtub and then the hand. Oh yeah, that's Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's another movie that does it too, like Teeth. Oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. I don't know. I, I never seen it. I, I didn't see the teeth, but it's, it's a movie that with like I don't want to get into that. That's yeah, a, a woman problem. has teeth on her 
yeah, in, he, her, I mean, in her genitalia. Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> um, we're getting off topic here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we enjoyed it. It's really fun. Night swim. Um, anything else you want to say about it? No, I, that's, I pretty much said it all. I think I, I liked it. I, I think give it a... Two thumbs up. Yeah, I just got scared of a lot of parts in this movie. A lot of parts scared me. A lot of jump scares. A lot of eerie moments. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get down to the ratings. What would you rate this, Doug? I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Yeah. I would give this probably... I th I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's re it was really, really good. I always say 10 out of 10, but this was very fun. I actually really enjoyed this one. This one was really scary for a PG. And they I like a lot of PG-13 horror movies, like The Grudge, and there's a lot of good stuff. The Grudge was good, yeah. Yeah, but this is like one of my favorite movies, like one of my favorite horror films of so far of 2024. I don't know if it's a 2024 movie. No, it is. A 2023 movie. Well, but it was I filmed probably in 2023, but it was released, released this year. Yeah, but I really enjoyed this one. This is definitely one to check out if you love like uh pull movie movies that you get pulled you get pulled underneath like underwater underwater like car. car underwater no, we just say car because the car went. <laughs> no, I said underwater horror. Underwater horror movies, yeah, yeah. like you know, like that. Things that, involving water. Things involving water and stuff, and like underworld kind of things. Like there's kind of like an underworld in it too. Yeah, because like when they go deep in the pool, like all the like spooky like like spirits or whatever from the dead. Yeah, um, I don't want to give it too much so, away, but there were some se sequences in that film that were freaky. Involving diving deep, like far deep down, deeper than the pool goes, and like you see, like creepy. And the things. makeup was good too. The makeup yeah. effects are ama amazing in it. Yeah, but the go everything about it was amazing. Definitely go check it out. But ten out of ten, and what would you give it? I give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Definitely go check out Night Swim. It's a really fun movie. Definitely go see Night Swim. Anyway, look guys, I hope you enjoyed this movie you that I did. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, please rate, subscribe. And before I end this video, I want to just mention one thing. Um, I, there's, a, there's a, check out this, check out my buddy Septimson's YouTube channel and his uh, video that he just up, uploaded, a spot, he did a spotlight video about me, a Kyle Rappaport spotlight video um, where he talks all about my movies and acting, and my acting, acting in my and my movies that I acted in, and all the things I acted in my movie career and stuff. Uh, spotlight video they did for me, all about me and stuff. Uh, a Kyle Rapport spot, spotlight video. From Definitely check it out. I'll put a link underneath this video for where you can check that out. If you want to see all my hi movie history and stuff. But uh, thank you Septimson for making that video. And definitely check out Septimson vs. The World on YouTube. He's a really cool, cool, good friend of mine. Definitely check that video out. Anyway though guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And uh, ch definitely check out my buddy Doug Adino on... Where can I check you out on? Um, my, my special effects makeup and mask making account on Instagram is uh, at darkwaterfx. Definitely check him out, Doug at, at at Dark Water Effects. Check out his makeup and and stuff and and mask making and art designs. Definitely check him out, Doug, Douglas Godino at. Definitely check him out at Dark Water Effects. Anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and subscribing, and I'll see y'all. I hope you just more review. Definitely go see Night Swim, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, peace. Want to Want to go for a swim? Yeah, let's go. Want to go for a swim with me? <laughs> oh my god! If you want to go for a swim with me, come on. We're going to we'll, in in the winter. We'll go to the lagoon. We'll go to the lagoon. The black lagoon. The black lagoon. <laughs> in the winter. In the dead of winter. The dead early January, or late January winter. Jesus. Just kidding. We're not going for a swim. We're just gonna go home and yeah, yeah, chill. But anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing, and see you all later. Peace. And before I end this video, I want to let you all know that I'm going to be acting in a new upcoming horror comedy film called Skate to Hell. Yes, Skate to Hell. I'm going to be acting in and directing it is my good buddy Sean C. Phillips, a.k.a. Cool Duder. You all know Mr. Cool Duder on YouTube. My good buddy Sean C. Phillips um, is, is directing it and also producing it is my other good friend, Nicole Vegas. So... 
So definitely check out the Indiegogo campaign page for uh, for the for the movie there's many ways you can get involved in the pro in the project with special thanks credit producer level credits walk on roll film from home rolls and and many more so definitely check out the link the link below for the indiegogo campaign page and and definitely and definitely support the film and definitely and look forward to and look forward to see to to look forward to being in this film it's gonna be a really awesome 80s throwback sla slasher or i think it's a slasher throwback comedy horror film i'm really looking forward to it it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be shooting in the las vegas area in april this april i'm really looking forward to this one it's gonna be really fun so definitely donate today and, and hope you guys and definitely donate today and let's make some art guys and um please support the film and please support sean and nicole and everybody on the project and definitely give all of them give them all your support and let and it's gonna be so much fun i'm really looking forward to it anyway though guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching and subscribing definitely give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below please rate subscribe and i'll see you all next time all right peace